Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radwood Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising monthly tarot reading, <clears throat> just one second, for uh, August 2018 and before we go to the general one I would uh, I will announce you that if you want to go even deeper you know you like this one and you want to know even more uh, you can purchase the extended tarot reading <clears throat> for just as little as one dollar and there we specifically focus upon um, two things career and relationship for the month that will uh, Sagittarius will experience and uh, you can find the link down below in the description of this video so for this month I have chosen a um, seven card spread now the first one shows up the carry on circumstances from the previous month then we do have the topic of your month Sagittarius now the carry on circum circumstances is the eight of pentacles the topic that will be the king of swords then we do have the uh, aims that you can place in front of yourself or the things that you can accomplish here that is the two of cups followed by the best possible approach toward the situation or toward that person here because now we know that this is a person we have the two of swords Afterwards is going to be the people which are uh, involved into the situation and what their attitude is against you. That will be uh, the Hierophant card followed by the challenges to be faced. Here we have the uh, World card and at the end that will be the final outcome of the month. And we have the Queen of, uh, of Wands. So, Eight of Pentacles, the carry-on circumstances, they do point of a preparation or a working through a certain thing, most likely with um, a beneficial end here. The Eight of Pentacles um, kind of uh, incorporate um, <clears throat> right now how much effort you Sagittarius is placed into one thing and right now uh, what follows up the only uh, the only logical follow-up of uh, that particular uh, activity is to close the deal so this month for what it seems it will be a month where you have to aim to reap you know the fruits of your labor but this card reassures us it's gonna carry on you know this card reassures that at least that month you will uh, kind of like have still yet what to um, what to work upon and um, you know what to improve in your performance uh, regarding your career and your and your relationship and now when I th when I'm thinking about it uh, this card kind of reassures you that at least this month is going to be a month where you should not be afraid for your place at your job now the topic we have a man here or a person in general who is a very um, a person of authority alright so what uh, what role that person will play in your life is that he's gonna give you a clear vision for the future that most likely will come through either a proposition or hints that that guy or a woman you know or a girl is gonna give you but the bottom line is that these people they usually have um, a lot of way around alright so they are very clever and they know how one thing can be push through or how, how one thing could be established so if uh, if you Sagittarius are thinking about something like a private business you know or starting a new job here um, we have someone who is going to give you very uh, accurate advice as how you can proceed on forward now should you proceed forward mm, that is entirely your uh, your decision but that person very well know what they talk about and the information in general that they are going to give you it is a, a, a golden and you should not bypass it lightly and as a matter of fact as the, your aims here that will be the two of cups that card speaks for uh, that you can become a, a, a team alright so you can cooperate with that person here and uh, to be fair, all right, allow them to do the hard job because really it will depend how you play your cards. But um, what the bottom line is is that this person has connections, have influence. So by you making that um, 
uh, by you making that cooperation, you can take advantage and use that uh, influence for your behalf in order to push your things through and use his uh, means for your purposes, which there is nothing wrong because probably they're as well going to use your means for their purposes. So it's kind of like a uh, symbiotic relationship here. Two of cups also may point that that person may have a romantic interest towards you for one and only reason that you are f making them feel very comfortable and uh, kind of like uh, carefree as well and also because these people they don't usually share way too much for some reason your presence will kind of um, will make them share things you know it's kind of it's kind of like you're gonna make them uh, share things with ease which is something that they will like very much but the best possible approach toward them is an approach uh, bereft from ju from judgment so you should not by any means judge or or in any case you know judge their behavior or judge their means or judge their um their past life if you want to say it that way now that card points here that this this person is going to um withdraw an information which is totally unnecessary to the current situation you know that probably is going to be a personal information and that's why your uh, judgment for them could be clouded and your judgment will be uh, lingering more toward the negative side you know you may think that that guy is a surreptitious um, that guy is uh, you know somewhat uh, treating others unfair or it's um, you know it's involving himself into schemes etc etc but that is because you are as i said missing a certain piece of an information that is going to make the um the picture clear and what you need to do toward that person is just maintain you know your distance for a while but with the two of swords here uh, do not kind of like um take any decisions how to accept and how to fit that person in your life because further into the future you are going to to um come up with that information and then only then you will be able to solve let's say the drama or the dilemma etc etc but bottom line right now is that before you decide what to do you need to consider all points of view so the attitude of the surrounding people regarding you and this person Sagittarius is we have the Hierophant card and they will cancel you in a certain sense. Now the Hierophant card is a very broad one. Uh, there will be those who are against, there will be those who are supporting you, you know, but in general this card points that um, the people will, how can I place it, uh, the people will try to uh, make you see how trustworthy that person is, alright? So that is the attitude here. And uh, they will constantly remind you that maybe even if love starts to emerge in between you and that person, uh, trust is something even stronger because you may love somebody, you know, but if you don't trust them, then the, there is then, then nothing can, can come up uh, from it. And... Uh, <clears throat> the Hierophant card also, uh, it's kind of like, um, well, it's one of those kind of standpoints that these people will have that you have to invest per, invest first before you expect something to come out of a certain situation. So let's give you an a, um, example for on a relationship. If you want to be in a relationship, you do have the suitor over here, but for some reason that suitor uh, kind of like things aren't happening in between you two. It is because you are expecting them to make a certain move. Well, what the people around you will tell you is that if they don't make a move, then you have to make one. If you want to provoke a move, then you have to be the one to make it, all right? To, to make first, to act first, to, to kind of like give a hint that you want the other to uh, kind of like approach you. So it's kind of, it's kind of like the natural uh, unfoldment of one situation. And then is uh, the uh, challenges to be uh, to be faced here with the world card. It does speak that you will have a hard time to um, mm, let's say be singular all right 
because in that particular sense the world card forces a liberty and uh, as we said here it's kind of like very tightly connected with the two of swords as we said here not to uh, kind of like um, rush with your conclusions and decisions about that person uh, somehow you are going to remain tied to that person for the duration of the month you know and uh, by that you may start stifling for a certain freedom and also the world card as represents com uh, completion of a cycle it may play a, play a role of uh, lacking of a further perspective you know so that person could be the only perspective for you I know and, and you will lack a different one which is totally okay but maybe you Sagittarius aren't used to have only one perspective maybe you like to have a plan B C all the way to Z but this is not gonna be the case here in August rather you will have to kind of like finalize whatever you have started working in the previous month here with the eight of pentacles and situate yourself around it and from there you know with uh, cooperation with a person either romantic one or business one regardless you will be able to kind of like improve your circumstances in many ways as these people they or whenever they are involved in the situation improve and then we do have the queen of uh, wands for the end of the month and that is a brilliant finalization of the month because that card points that you are going to enjoy life very much you will have that knack for how to do it so that card speaks that you will have those kind of like uh, the, these burdens here you know and uh, predicaments will no longer be in present and uh, you will spend a lot of time with pleasant people here with the queen of uh, with the queen of wands your business probably will now finally start moving forward you know your relationship uh, life as well in general that card uh, in your case here points at the end of the month you will enjoy life very much in all of its form uh, in its forms you know and uh, <clears throat> On top of that, you will be able to make use of certain means. What means, I cannot tell you because this is a, um, a general reading for every single one. is going to be a, a different kind of means. But the bottom line here is that you will know how to fit everything in the grand scheme of things of your life. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for August 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.